Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video we're going to take a look at how we can use a cowbell to provide a rhythm that we can use as a kind of a platform for self-expression on our xylophone. Now, here is our cowbell. And remember, if you don't have a cowbell, you can use a coffee cup. And if you don't like the sound of your coffee cup because you think it's ringing too long, put a little bit of paper in there and, right, it'll definitely change the pitch and the length of the note in your coffee cup, right? You can personally customize your coffee cup sound. Okay, so let's have a nice little steady rhythm that we can use as a platform for self-expression on our xylophone. So here we go. Here's a nice steady rhythm. All right, just a nice single note steady rhythm. And of course, if you wanted to get uh, fancy, you could go... Right? Any, any number of and variety of uh, rhythms. Um, so, using that nice, steady, single note rhythm, let's, uh, let's indulge in some self-expression. Here we go. I could tell that this key slid ever so slightly and wasn't ringing out in the way in which I like to enjoy hearing it. So that was a nice steady rhythm. And that was a nice little bit of uh, self-expression there. So let's take that a little bit further. And remember the uh, good old trick of improvisation is that um, when you play a passage and it seems to kind of be coming to an end, you can open up a new door and continuing improvisation by going up in pitch. So instead of this note that we just used, I'm going to play that again. Then I'm going to go up in pitch and that kind of opens up a new door and a whole new area, a whole new room uh, to improvise in. So here we go. Oops. So you can kind of see how uh, a cowbell or a coffee cup, oops, let me, let me take my paper out of there. So, right, coffee cup or a cowbell can be used to establish a nice rhythm that you can either um, have for yourself or if you're playing with a friend, right, then they can do the rhythm and you can kind of take turns uh, improvising uh, together. So one last little way in which the cowbell can be used as a, as a kind of rhythm, but more importantly for improvisation, is to incorporate it while you're moving around alternatively on your xylophone. So here we go. Something like this. It could be anything really, but something like this. Right? So we're sort of uh, using it alternating around keys and using in between. And one last interesting thing is that when you start out on a key, that little pattern that we just did, uh, listen for the difference in your mind, because all of us have different opinions, right? Different favorite colors, different uh, hobbies that we like to do. So this is going to be one of those things where everybody has a preference. When you start on the key and then go to the xylophone, excuse me, start on the key on the xylophone and then go to the cowbell or start on the cowbell and go to the xylophone second. There is a difference and um, how big the difference is or whether you like the difference or don't like the difference, of course that's up to everybody's uh, personal taste.
So here we go. Let's start on the xylophone first. Now we'll try the cowbell first. Right? It's very it's a very subtle difference, but when you start moving around and doing some other things, which note you start on first can make a big difference in how a uh, pattern feels. So, uh, real quick, if you happen to have a cowbell, a coffee cup, and another coffee cup that has coffee in it, so it sounds a little different, and a xylophone, you can kind of have a, a tabletop orchestra. A kitchen tabletop orchestra. So here we go. And you can drive yourself crazy with a multitude of options uh, at your leisure using your tabletop orchestra. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the second video on the cowbell, how it can be used along with our xylophone for uh, rhythm and self-expression. And be sure to also uh, check out the video, the first video on using a cowbell as an accent when creating a melody on our xylophone. All right, thank you very much. Have fun this summer. Bye-bye.